Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. I've got a special guest here, uh, Dr. Corey M. Teague. Uh, you, I know him as Dr. Teague. You know him as the father of Master Teague III, uh, running back extraordinaire for The Ohio State University. Dr. Teague, thanks for joining us. Oh, you're welcome. No problem. And by, the, and by the way, before we get very far here, you're at Middle Tennessee State. You're a lecturer. And uh, give people a, a sense of what your expertise is before we move on on why I have you on here. Yeah, uh, I do I do a couple of things at MTSU. I, I do work in the psychology department. I, I'm a lecturer there, a faculty member. Uh, so I teach a general psych class. I also do uh, issues and ethics in the health and profession. I coordinate uh, internships, apprenticeships for the uh, students as well. And then I also do some things with the athletic department uh, in the sense of uh, uh, any type of uh, testing, if there's you know, any, any need there for, for any reason or any, any type of therapy that's needed. So I got you. Well, you should have helped them in their recruiting of Master Teague the Third, but that's another story, right? <laughs> I brought that up to him one time. It was pretty funny, but I digress. <laughs> Why have you got you on here? You're you're among the the uh, multitude of parents who are part of the Ohio State uh, Football Parents Association, and uh, who who have no qualms with seeing their young men play football this fall, and uh, you you voice those uh, those thoughts. Why are you, number one, why do you have no concerns? And number two, why, are you, why do you feel you need to be adamant at this time about uh, getting the, the, uh, the parents' uh, thoughts out there? Yeah, I, I, you know, I, I definitely have no qualms. A uh, couple of reasons that, I, that come to my mind at first is that, you know, when you look at the science, uh, when you think about the science behind, I guess you think about the season being canceled because of the virus, and when you look at the science of that, look at our experience of it as well. Uh, the science and the experience together, that to me, doesn't warrant uh, counseling the whole season. Um, and so us as parents, I mean, after our sons put the letter out, we, you know, we have that wonderful organization there that we can, uh, that just keeps us together and also keeps, helps us coaches to communicate with us as well and keep us in the loop. And so, you know, we definitely have no qualms about that. And, uh, just the things, the way that Ohio State's been doing things, and what the things they've shared with us, and our son has shared with us, uh, it, 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 it's really, it's pretty awesome, and pretty safe, I would say. And even looking at, uh, throughout the country, uh, even in, in our program as well, the guys that has, you know, uh, ran into this virus, the outcome has been great, uh, uh, at least as far as I know, and probably for the majority there. And so yeah. uh, we're pretty, uh, we're pretty, uh, in fact, we, we have the appropriate uh, uh, attitude about uh, having this season. You know, the interesting thing that I've put forth is the players are probably safer in their situation right now than if they would be turned out into, quote, unquote, the general public, you know what I mean? I mean, just the general populace if, in fact, the season was canceled. I mean, do you kind of have those kind of thoughts too? I mean, am, am, am I putting words in your mouth? Oh no, no words in my mouth at all. You know, the, you know if they have, if they're there, if the uh, having the season, um, at least I know during this time that they're going through now, they they've been tested twice a week. Uh, yeah. And if you're, you know, if someone tests positive, you know, they're 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 quarantined, they're away from the team, and there was, you know, I know that week there where we took off, but it. Uh, but after that, man, there's been no spread. There's been all all tests have been have came back positive. I mean, came back negative. Excuse me, uh, came back negative. And so uh, I think that I mean to to be able to do that and get these guys bought in to taking care of themselves. And I think that's coaches, but also leaders on the team that you know they hold each other accountable. So uh, man, it's, it's it's you know being out in the, in the world and. You know, even I even thought about thought about you know you, you're going to go to class. Uh, you can definitely protect yourself there as well. But I mean, there's even further protection uh, playing football than, than, than going to class. Even though I know the student athletes, school is very important. Uh, yeah. And so hopefully, even the students there will do what they need to do. But you know, you can definitely wear your mask and keep your hands off your face, keep your hands clean. Uh, so, but yeah, I think they've done a great job. I mean, it's pretty awesome. You know, uh, you know the players. Your son, obviously, is one of the more outspoken fellows on the team. Anyway, and uh, he's voiced his same situ uh, same uh, sentiment. Uh, Ryan Day has said he's going to keep swinging, trying to keep the season going. Is this? I don't know. Is is it? Uh, 
what's what's your general emotion right now? Is it frustration with the with the thought that there could not be a season? How would you describe just from a parent standpoint uh, as you sit here to wait, kind of for a final decision? You know, it is frustration. Uh, it's frustration. I think my frustration comes in kind of what I said earlier when you think about the science and the, and the experience. And so, if there is a decision to not have a, a season. Um, I don't think I have I have enough information that I, I, I guess I'm saying I, I would need someone to give me more information uh, on why we're not having the season. If they're saying we're not having the season yeah. because of the virus, because in my mind it's, it, it doesn't add up. Uh, it's an over it's an overreaction. Uh, it's uh, I think it's the wrong decision. Uh, I can you know. I think that sometimes in, in the climate we're in now, uh, sometimes people want to get into it and talk about it, but, you know, sometimes in the climate we're in now, we have overreactions, we have underreactions. Yeah. And I do have, I do think the overreaction is to end the season. I think some people may have, could have an underreaction where we'd have a season full of, fan, full of uh, uh, fans. I think the, where the parents are is the appropriate reaction is that let's have a season and uh, we'll figure that at least, at least decide to have a season and we'll figure everything else out as we go as far as who can be in the stands and who can't and that type of thing. Uh, yeah. So that's my frustration is because I like to know what the truth is. And uh, But I'll just use the word. I mean, sometimes things are politicized and that's where you get the overreaction and the underreaction. I understand that. Uh, but I think we should try to operate if, if we're dealing with something this big and this important and this uh, how this something like this is going to affect people's lives. We got to have the right reaction, yeah. and uh, trying to kind of drown out the noise. And you know, I think if we do that, and focus on what's important first, and everything else will follow. Gotcha. Last question, and this is probably the most important one: How close is Master Teague the third to 100 percent, and is he ready to go? Just what? Give us some inside take on that. Well, you know, Coach Day doesn't like us. <laughs> I know. I know. But no I saw about injuries. <laughs> yeah, but I saw yeah. I saw pictures of him. He looks he looks pretty fit. I mean, you know, uh, to get that from his mom or his dad. Man, that's uh, you know, I, I'll go ahead and say he gets that from his mom. Master <laughs> 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 is uh, you know, and, and I'm sure he doesn't mind. I, you know, he's uh, Master's doing great. Yeah, Master is uh, he's ready to rock. He's ready to roll. Uh, I, you know, I know Coach Dave said in his interview how amazing he is, man. It's it's been amazing to watch. Yeah. Uh, and, and Stu and all those guys in the in the in the, in the yeah, it's just over during that time when he was down, how those guys just uh, kept in touch with him, and he sent me some pictures of some homemade uh, uh, things he was doing with the towel, and he put different you know things in the kitchen on there to be able to. But he just, I mean, it's just. Uh, He's yeah. great. Master, he, he's awesome, man. He, he's doing great, and uh, they been able to focus on just his whole body, man, during this time. And he is uh, – I look forward to it, man. He, he amazes me. He's always done that throughout his whole life. And uh, I may have, even in my own head, you know, sometimes you think about your own kids and put them on a pedestal, but I guess I did the opposite. I kind of underestimate – you know, I want to see it first and that type of thing. And uh, he, and he just, uh, uh, I just, you know, I'm just amazed. So he's yeah. doing great. He, he's ready to go. Yeah, you talk about Stu, man. Stewie, man, he's one of the greats, as you well know now. I mean, uh, the, the fellow working with him. But one last thing, Dr. Teague, uh, when did it become the parent, a parent to you? Because, I, you know, I just get the impression from, you know, stuff I've read about you, tweets and things like that, you're extremely impressed with the Ohio State operation, uh, maybe from top to bottom. I, I, but when did you when did it become apparent to you that maybe Ohio State is a cut above? Maybe when it comes to like even this approach, Gene Smith has been very cautious about you know about the athletic situation in, yeah. in regards to COVID nineteen and stuff. But yeah. you know, what I guess is is that what just makes you feel like your your son is in great hands just on that that obviously that. Uh, uh, that tie you've built with these guys, but the knowledge you have of how they approach situations like this. Yeah, you know, when you're being recruited and all, you learn some of it, but it's, it's such a, you know, an organization like this is so big. It's so, because uh, I try to wrap my head around things. And, uh, 
you know, so, something so big it takes time. And so, but as we been able to be here in, in Ohio State, you just see it is it is from top. If you want to say top to bottom, I don't know how they would say that, but you know, I've, I've observed Jimmy and how he is in interviews and just how he is when he approaches things, man. And he's just sharp, and, uh, and I can just tell how they want their program to be. And of course, Urban was there for a year, and you can see that. Yeah. Of course, Ryan Day comes in, and he, he just carries that on and, you know, adds to it. And then you got the support staff with, uh, you know, Mark. Uh, uh, Pan, uh, Pantone and, and, and uh, the, you know Mickey. I mean, all those guys, man. You just yeah, down to the office workers. I mean, they just uh, you know, I, you know, I, I'm I come there, I see things, and I, you know, I don't spend a whole day. But I think that takes effort to find people uh, to put in those places, and, um, put in those positions, and uh, you just see it, and you hear from your son, you hear from your, your, my son as well. And you, and you hear about things they say about him, and so it's uh, it's just you just see all that working together, and, uh, different things they plug into. You know, people talk about the real life Wednesday. That's, that's true. Or they do that, and they just just the things they preach and teach, and the, the culture they try to have. And, uh, they do something one year, it carries over to the next, and then they add something to it. Yeah, uh, the guys are real. I mean, they're loyal to each other. That brotherhood, when they say that brotherhood, they mean that. And uh, I've been talking to Master recently how he just feels about the running back room and how and they just, they're, uh, they're just a great, you know, they, they just yelling, yelling pretty good there. And yeah. So probably forward to the season as well. So it's another reason. And you got other guys in other positions and you get to know those players, not just your son, you get to know, you get to know other players and their parents. Uh, man, these guys are – it's, it's awesome. Yeah. Hey, last question. I'll get out of here. Uh, yeah. What's your gut telling you? Is there going to be a football season of some sort? And would you, as a father, would you be interested at all in a spring season? I hope there is a season. Uh, you know, I don't really know. I, I, I haven't been able to read a lot today on what's really happening. It's been canceled – it has. I hope there is. A, I hope that we can be creative. We can be intelligent in a sense of you know, in a creative way, a practical way, and have a season. Yeah. The season is. It, even if I try to just step away and say, okay, let's look at that. You know, it, it's strange to me. I don't know how you have a spring season and then turn to have another fall season. Yeah. Uh, that sounds. That seems pretty dangerous uh, for the players. I mean, that's especially at this level is. Ooh, that's, I don't know how you do that. Yeah. Uh, so it's to me, you know, if you cancel this season, you kind of, I mean, they may try to have a spring season, but you might be waiting to uh, a whole year to have a season. That's a long time not to play football. Yeah. Uh, not not just to watch football, it's about the athlete to play football. Uh, and that's, uh, but we'll, man, I'm hopeful. Uh, I'm going to stay hopeful. Uh, and hope I'm not disappointed in the end, but this is definitely a nerve-wracking situation. I will say that, and I do think, again, I'll, be, I'll say I think it's wrong to cancel the season. I think it's not warranted. Definitely overreaction. Gotcha. Dr. Teague, thanks for joining me. All right. And we'll see you next time. Thanks, man. Thank you.